Hi Aquarius, welcome to your September mid-month love reading. My name is Hannah, welcome to my channel. And thank you so much for allowing me to be a part of your experience today, guys. For your first crowner, you have Wedding. And it's clarified by Temperance, the Magician, the King of Cups, and the Knight of Swords. Some of you might want to go check out Sagittarius' reading because I did pick up a lot of Aquarian energy in Sag's reading and I'm picking up Sagittarius energy in your reading. So some of you guys might be either dealing with Sag or you might have these placements in your chart or there might just be a message for you in there so you might want to check that out. But I do sense that there is a commitment manifesting here for you. Somebody is moving very fast. Knight of Swords energy is very aggressive. Somebody is aggressively expressing themselves emotionally. Expressing how they feel. Feeling ready for a commitment. Feeling ready for a marriage. Some of you might be feeling ready for a marriage. Feeling emotionally stable, emotionally grounded, emotionally strong. And some of you are really, really communicating that compassion, that love, that emotion to someone that you might be committed to or you might want to get committed to. And this, it's almost like Aquarius, you're moving very fast into this, but something's progressing very slow. Even though you're moving fast, something still is kind of progressing a little slow and it's kind of requiring you to have patience, but something is manifesting, just, you know, like I said, have patience. But you have passion here in the heart of your reading. Clarified by King of Cups, Knight of Cups, my bad, and Page of Wands. Also clarified by the Hangman and Strength. I do sense that somebody here is very, very willing to offer their cup. You, Aquarius, are in a very good place emotionally. If you're dealing with a fire sign, maybe a Leo or a Sagittarius, maybe even a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, this person is also in a very good space emotionally. This person wants to start something new with you. There's very much a strong, passionate energy present here. You could definitely be dealing with a Leo, maybe a Scorpio. I'm hearing somebody sings to someone else as a form of romance. Like somebody, somebody's like with a singer or somebody who likes to sing. Somebody expresses themselves emotionally through singing. Maybe you're writing songs about this person, writing songs about this, this relationship, this situation. But I'm hearing don't be so controlling. Aquarius, and it's not in the sense of you like controlling this person. I'm saying like don't be so controlling over the situation. You know, some things are going to go as ex unexpected. They're not going to go as expected is what I was trying to say. And there's ways that you have to kind of be in the flow and be open to the unexpected because ultimately the unexpected is what's going to lead you to where you want to be either with this person or with yourself because some of you guys are trying to make things happen in a way that it, it's like in a way that you it has to be your way or the highway or someone here in this connection somebody really likes to m maintain that control over situations it has to be their way or the highway this relationship has to be as i want it or i walk you know, or, or whatever. Be a little open. Somebody needs to be a little more open here. But 
but I do sense romantic messages. You could be at a distance from this person. You could be dealing with a Virgo. But somebody here is actively trying to manifest somebody. Wow, I feel like if you're dealing with a Sagittarius, guys, this person is actively trying to manifest a situation with you. You could be dealing with somebody who practices magic, white magic. twice guys very strong Sagittarian energy here you could also just be dealing with somebody who is a free spirit or you yourself could be a free spirit loves to travel open-hearted very full of faith in whatever it is that you believe in your your God the universe yourself even some of you guys have a lot of faith in yourself faith in this relationship But I have Ten of Wands here. I do sense that some of you guys feel that there is maybe some burdensome emotions that you're dealing with. Heavy emotions, heavy things that go unsaid. Because water energy is all about depth. With the Ten of Wands, it's like things that you're holding on to that are a lot deeper than you, than you realize. So somebody could be holding on to some emotions here that are very heavy, but they're not communicating them. And it might be creating some aggression in your relationships. But I have Ten of Swords. I'm hearing you feeling boxed in. But it's a box that you've created around yourself, like a mime. Some of you guys are feeling very trapped, but it's like a self-entrapment. Like I said, there's some emotions or something here that's keeping you trapped. You yourself have the power to let these go. But some of you continue to let them bring you pain, bring you suffering. It's like some hurt words that have been said. There's like words. It has something to do with communication because of swords. Like somebody might have said something to hurt someone's feelings, something very impulsively with this page of wands. Childish, childish impulsive energy. Somebody said something maybe out of anger, right? Because Wands is fiery energy, so somebody may be like a hothead, quick to anger, so they might have said something really quick, really offensive. This may be keeping somebody, somebody still trapped in this energy of what, what that person said. I feel like it might be you, Aquarius. Some of you guys are trying to, interesting, so there's like a new beginning here that somebody is trying to manifest. Somebody may be wanting to come back and offer you something, but there's like an ending here. It's like you're, you're putting it at a dead halt. Like maybe somebody comes through and sends a message and you're just like, nope, you nip it right in the bud. But you have the Emperor here, Taurus and Aries energy. You could be dealing with an Aries, lots of aggression, lots of heat. Aries have a tendency to be hot-headed too. Fire signs in general, but Aries, very intense sign. My sister is an Aries. I love her to death. I love Aries as well, um, but you know, very intense people. The Emperor 
is telling me that somebody here is pushing out any old beliefs that were hindering them, hindering their power. Yeah, somebody has like a need to control with this emperor energy. Somebody really needs to let go of that need to control, guys. Somebody wants to like conquer someone else or control someone else, control a situation with someone else. I'm just hearing that like dominate and conquer energy that, that I don't know, you could be dealing with Taurus, you could be dealing with an Aries. Very strong Aries energy with that conquer, you know what I mean? Because Aries is ruled by Mars, the god of war. War is all about conquering. So somebody's got a very aggressive energy here because they want to hold on to something. They want to they want to like control something, tightly grasp something, but somebody needs to let go of something here, whether it's emotions or a person. But I went ahead and got these chakra cards. I got these while I was in Sedona and I figured since I always talk about chakras in my videos. These would fit perfectly in my readings. So let's pull you guys a couple and see what your chakra energy is for these next couple of weeks. Cool. So you have joy, sacral energy, that inner sun, the sunflower, positioned right where the solar plexus is. I sense that some of you may need to look at things with a perspective of joy. Look at the, either this relationship or look at yourself. Trying to embrace more feelings of joy into your life. I think it's about yourself, Aquarius, through self-confidence. Some of you guys need to live a little more in the present moment as well. You know, stopping and smelling the flowers. I'm also hearing dance. Dance the negative energy away. You know, shake all that negative energy off because she's dancing here. Shake it all away. Dance is a very powerful form of healing. That's why there's tribes that do it. They've been doing it for so many years. Dance is a very, very powerful, powerful form of healing. And some of you might be dancers yourselves. And this is how you heal. This is how you find that inner confidence through your dancing. But I have isolation here. Throat chakra energy. The center of communication, speaking your truth. Some of you guys have a lot of clothes that you don't wear, is what I sense. Like some of it's like brand new. It's, it, yeah, it's like brand new clothes that have never been worn. They've had them for months, maybe even years, and they just sit in your closet. Some of you guys need to get rid of this stuff. Clean out your closets is what I'm hearing. Get rid of a lot of old stuff is one thing that I'm hearing. It could even be things from this past relationship. Some of you might need to get rid of, you know, maybe clothes that this person bought you or things that this person bought you. But this energy of isolation is telling me that some of you have preferred to move into isolation versus speaking what bothers you or using your words to communicate. Some of you also find joy in isolation. I think a lot of you find are starting to find joy in isolation. Now isolation is okay, I'm not saying that it's a bad thing. It's very good and healthy to take time alone, to recuperate, to heal. I think a lot of you have experienced a very painful situation here and you're really, really taking time to heal yourself. I 
I feel like somebody might also be taking time to be isolated so their partner or their the person that they're dealing with is feeling a lot of lack because of that. They, they're taking it very personally. Like, oh, why, what did I do to make this person ignore me? Or what have I done to make this person, you know, go into isolation? They're not talking to me, yada, yada, yada. Somebody's like freaking out. But somebody's really just taking time to heal. It's nothing against this person. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, I feel like the Sagittarius is feeling blue. They're feeling real blue. Lots of regret. Somebody's feeling lots of regretful energy. Um, possibly over a betrayal, an emotional betrayal. But yeah, if, if there is a Sagittarius in your awareness, guys, and this can be anybody, it doesn't just have to be a romantic partner, this could be a friend, family member, co-worker, um, you know, maybe, maybe communicate to this person that you're there for them. Because somebody's not talking about, they're, they're really, really isolating themselves in the sense that they're not speaking about what's bothering them, but somebody feels a lot of regret. It's almost like that skeletons in the closet, like somebody's got something that they're hiding and they're not talking about. But they're looking at it all the time. They're looking at it all the time. But that's what I see here, Aquarius. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. Um, you know, if you like a personal reading, all of my information is in the box below. And I'll see you later. Take care, Aquarius, and have a beautiful rest of your month. Bye-bye.